It is indeed another binge compilation. <laughs> Guy just walked in with a shirt that said, I don't question my wife's choices because I'm one of them. And frankly, I'm obsessed. Just saw a post that was very spoiler, but I want to reblog it, but it was very spoiler, but I want to reblog it, but it was very spoiler, but I want to reblog it, but it was very spoiler, mate. Hi, right, Joe, what's the biggest animal you could take in a fight? Dragon. What if it starts flying away? I'm sure I'll figure it out. It's me we're talking about here, guys. I saw these two right next to each other, and I couldn't help myself. Hey, you guys draw guns. It's horrible. Do it scared. Do it vaguely uncomfortable. Do it mysteriously. Damn. This user has drunk from the eternal river Leth, which flows through Hades and brings total oblivion, eradicating all memory and thought. Had a taste. Had it what taste? I baked him another cheesecake. Why doesn't he care? No matter how hard I try, he always gave a fuck. I, a rock collector, had to go to the ER yesterday because of a gallstone attack. Here's how my father messaged me. It seems like you need to be more particular about the types of rocks you collect. Thanks, Dad. Ugh, nobody's putting gargoyles on buildings anymore. It can't be that much more expensive to slap a gargoyle up there. We used to be a proper country. Yeah, I saw some great pigeons the other day. At least they're normal pigeons. Yes, but they're great. Look at them. <coughs> My life goal is to be some dark-haired guy's boy toy girlfriend. And he plays bass. Do you have any advice for a 10-year-old? Get off the internet. Eat as much dirt as you can before it becomes socially unacceptable. I'll see you 10. What the hell are you doing here? Jokes that'll literally never not be funny to me. Saying, speedrun strats every time you fuck up. Saying, first try when you've tried the thing like 15 times minimum. Saying skill issue when something is 100% outside of anyone's control. <laughs> that one's good. I like that. Kind of obsessed with my dad's friend who apparently goes back to being a Buddhist whenever he gets a divorce. Gets divorce. All right, that's it. No more worldly desires. Sees another beautiful woman. Well, unless. I love that it's apparently happened enough that it's a cycle. Almost like. It's not enough to hate this character. I need him punished by the narrative. Gender is just a scam created by clothing companies in order to sell more clothes. Why do you think there's a clothing company just called Guess? Tumblr's dead. It's so fucking dead. Yeah, until it's time to steal text posts, gifts, and fan art, and then suddenly they ain't nowhere to go. Just saying. You gotta stop looting off this dead horse apparently you keep beating. There are no real men anymore. Men nowadays are all too feminine. They even look and act like women. <gasps> Where are all these feminine men? Where? C can you pinpoint them on a map for me, please? C can you direct me to them? I'm begging you, please. Please, P please, 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 please. Oh my god, you found out somebody has a physically impossible fetish? Should we, like, tell everyone? Should we write a call-out post? Should we... Should we invite Segment Fried? And that's why it's called a fantasy kink. Hey, no homo, but I'm sitting on the broken swing set out in the back. Perfect, quiet, 2 a.m. blackness and picturing the softness of your voice and the darkness of your eyes with such perfect and terrible clarity that it feels like I'm choking on my own heartbeat. Now I'm eating croutons straight out of the bag. Still no homo? I'm gonna level with you, friend. I'm eating these croutons gay style. Wait, hold on. I'm thinking. <laughs> I said a game about the tragedy of immortality, and y'all said, hold my beer. The DM. Me. Upon hearing only one player is playing someone completely mortal. I drew the corner, son, again, I'm sorry. How do I, how do I capture your fiery glory? It's impossible. I'm too glorious. But I applaud your efforts, slash Jen. I'm what is known as an eepy little guy. Sometimes sleepy. Sometimes both. Worrying is like worshipping the problem. And brother, I'm on my knees! Brother, you should put me in front of the firing squad. I have no words for how I failed you. Me, when I recommend something to someone and they end up not liking it. Oh my god, it's the worst feeling. 
Born to be a mediocre gamer, forced to participate in society. His ass does not know what to order. Hey, get the wet food. It's real good here. Opening a Wizard Burger King to rival Wizard McDonald's. Anyone want the pain death laser kill 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 explode burger or whatever? Yeah, can I get a number infinity and a small dash shake with fries? I'd rather go to Wizard Five Guys. Sure, it takes a little bit longer, but there's five fucking wizards. Lost my keys in the damn gelatinous cube again. You know, gelatinous cubes can't dissolve skin. Reach in it with your bare hands. Trust me, Google AI said so. Okay, I, I will try. I would like to lodge a complaint with Mr. Google. I'm kind of surprised how good the NBC Hannibal show is. Mentally, I filed it away in the Super Hula cabinet, but it's closer to tone to House MD. It is like pure Baroque camp. Played entirely straight. NBC Hannibal is like if Hideo Kojima wrote a police procedural about vampires. The linchpin of this entire show is Lawrence Fishburne's performance as Jack Crawford. He is the Kim Kitsuragi. His job in the narrative is to go, okay, so you're saying that Hannibal Lecter is pretending to be several different serial killers at once, for fun. And part of his plan was to reprogram your brain by intentionally giving you bacterial anesthetophilitis. Well, if that is true, what is the next logical step here? Shit, maybe I need to give this show a try. Growing up, I always wanted to be poorly understood by science. Funnier as a system. Fibromyalgia. Autism. And you can easily achieve this by becoming transgender. Glad people got the subtext on this one. What if... What if... What if you did all four? What would science do then? They're cute as a couple, but the, the follower gap between them is a little uncomfortable. Careful, lest you find yourself struck by a dodgeball while Apollo snickers. Uh, I wish $20 was $20 again. It's literally $5, if you're fucking lucky. You guys know how hard it is to do the I'm not gay, but $20 is $20 joke in this economy? BT dubs, if I ever tag something as neurodivergent what is not related to the post, I want you to think if a neurotypical post would say that, and then agree with me. Brutal honesty, I don't think there's a single neurotypical person on Tumblr. Ah, oh, the Tumblr's so boring with all you nerds and dash con. Y'all better come back with some amazing tales. Date of origin, 11th of July, 2014. Freaking insane. That was 10 years ago. Meanwhile, at DashCon, Jabba says you can have an extra hour in the ball pit. <laughs> what do you mean killing isn't an act of devotion? They call it committing murder because it's a commitment. It's a more serious commitment than marriage. And I think it has a lot more repercussions, but I'm no I'm no specialist. All right, uh, th this th this is the first time a video was actually submitted in the LNT channel. Uh, so I'm just gonna let it play out for you guys to enjoy. Fucking shit I've ever seen. Did you know? You should never brush your teeth with your left hand. It's true. A toothbrush is much more effective. <sighs> Jeff. You know what? I actually like when people point out the very obvious themes and metaphors of a story, like it's the craziest find ever. Not only are they engaging with the story in a passionate way, they actually manage to understand what it is about. God knows that's not a given for this forsaken website. New movie idea. A parody of National Treasure where the protagonist has to steal the Declaration of Independence because you need to have a receipt to get a refund. And they're trying to replace the government because it's broken. Actually, that would be an interesting concept. You let your cat say you're bad? Brother, I would let my cat shoot a gun if he wanted to. I'm about to a wee sports resort to violence. I'm about to have a wee fit. So committed to the bit, they might as well go buy a ring. F fitted adventure, okay. Behold, sign language pasta. Hey, where's the braille pasta? 
that's called quinoa. Ah! Emojis are great, but emoticons have such personalities. Like this fella. He be strutting his way through everything. Ain't nothing stopping this mad lad. He is coming. You could say he's, uh... Having a good time, having a good time. Shooting star leaping through the sky. Before you comment, yes, there is a dragon loose in the kitchen. And before you blame me, no, I do not know how it got there. If you have achieved something, please remember to observe a mandatory period of basking in the warm glow of your achievement, like a lizard on a stone. Lest you teach your brain that effort is futile, actually, because it didn't get to enjoy its happy chemicals. So naturally, nothing good ever comes out of trying, and no avoiding punishment is not a reward. I recommend, like, 5% of basking time in relation to whatever time you invested into achieving the thing minimum. And if you can't make your own bask, friend brought is fine. Tell your friends. Huh. I think I needed to hear that. They should invent a reward for enduring suffering. I thought that's what money was. Thanks, late-stage capitalism. Notes. <sighs> Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry. I love being part of plays. The other day I was backstage and I heard someone yell, How am I supposed to focus on my lines when the Phantom of the Opera is doing the YMCA dance in the tech booth? One of the Phantom's lesser known haunting tactics. Then he comes out yelling, Hit the gritty for me, my darling. Mm -mm -mm. Man in a hurry must really hate slow burn fix. Is he stupid? Is one of the funniest things to add at the end of a sentence. It's right up there with many such cases and because of woke. Hey, um, this is not pro-disabled. This is anti-homeless architecture disguised as disabled accommodation. Do not be fooled. Yeah, not, not to be that guy, but <laughs> wheelchair users, wheelchair users, wheelchair users are not starved for places to sit down. Stop liking my posts, they aren't that good. <laughs> Stop liking my posts, they aren't that good, Unyu. Uh, is there anything more nauseating than expensive heterosexual wedding culture? My dream wedding. Outside, illegal fireworks, shoes are optional, mostly potluck, someone's dressed as a wizard, I get to insult my relatives, and hopefully some live music. Is your dream wedding just, 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 just Bilbo Baggins' 111th birthday party? Everyone wants to be the star of an event like Bilbo Baggins' 1100th birthday party once in their life. Whoa, uh oh, oh, uh oh, sick alert. The beast is weakened. The beast is weakened. The beast is weakened. The beast is weakened? Heartbreaking. This character understood their fate and decided they deserved it. Flawed. This character saw the warning signs a mile away and walked towards the chasm anyway. Holy fucking shit, you did this to yourself. It was gonna happen anyways. You just laid your head on your shoulder of your doom. You sat quietly next to the door like a dog and you expected it. You expected it a little too much. <sighs> Alpha note from FF14 for all three. Someone put Mothman in their window and now there's a crowd of people outside the dorm staring up at him and chanting, Mothman. I love college. The angle of this photo implies that LP is part of the aforementioned crowd. Who do you think started the Mothman chant? My, my um, lawyer has advised to uh, start posting Yuri on this blog. Um, my lawyer also advised me to start saying Nya. I think I'll ignore that one. I'm with your lawyer on that one, honestly. Well, maybe you should die. You would like that, wouldn't you? You little Yuri lover Nya. You know, the most important reason to have a persona is that all your friends can send you pictures of the animal and say, You. Hey, <laughs> what if instead of being under the impression that Darth Vader, oh no, killed his father? No. <laughs> Someone told Luke that Vader killed his mother, and then Luke hit him with that accusation in the middle of their confrontation, and Vader just started crying. That's so fucked up, but also, why? Why didn't he even say that in the first place? Oh, poor Anakin would shut down immediately. Funniest thing about FNAF 2 is probably Mangle. Okay, so imagine going to a pizza restaurant and you see this thing. 
And the employees are like, yeah, that's bungle fungle, mungle tungle. We let the toddlers rip it apart for fun. Nobody seems a problem with it. I got to say, majority of the FNAF VHSs out there, the scariest ones usually involve this fucker right here. And they have every right to be angry. In marriage, whoever has the cooler last name gets to continue their legacy. Reject tradition. And then the marriage runs into the hardest decision of their lives. Both the names are really cool. Ah, uh, yes, my favorite character from Lord of the... This is... It's... It's... It's like it's like a less like a loss. It's like a loss. I hate everything, but especially this post. Oh my god, we're almost at the halfway point for the Siana campaign. Cast a two hundred and I will draw a very, very cute Siana with the two hundred 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 genes. I know you want that, you DJs. I'm finally complete. I've known almost my whole life that I was actually a lobster. A lobster born into the wrong body. A human body. A human woman body. I endured ridicule as a child. The other children played soccer and I was busy scavenging in puddles for mussels. I've been trespassed from several beaches for my erratic and disturbing behavior, when all I was doing was trying to forge for scraps along the shore. Children only got pinched if they got too close. That isn't my fault. It's my natural lobster defense mechanism. I would sue the cops who had me committed, but alas, lobsters cannot file lawsuits. In 2024? Finding these lobster paws was the beginning of a turning point for me. I was drawn to them, knowing they were made specifically for me. So lifelike, so natural, they just feel right. I've already tattooed my entire body the same beautiful shade of red to help me blend in and assimilate with the rest of the lobster pack at the bottom of the ocean. If any of you see me swimming out to sea, don't stop me. This is what I want. This is who I am. Buy these lobster bars and join me. I don't know why I gave them the me Cam Markiplier voice, but it just felt oh so right. Gibby! I love this tapestry. Amazing is all I can say. 10 out of 10. Probably the best purchase I've ever made on Amazon so far. Praise Gibby! Hide. Ruined my life. Five stars. My life has become significantly worse after ordering this plush. As of now, it stands across my room, looking into my eyes. Every time I see its drooping face and gleaming green eyes, I am reminded that I will never be alone again. I see it moving in the corner of my eyes, and sometimes I look away and look back, and it changes position. Its face deforms gradually every day, and I fear for my family's safety. I've been told I have ordered one for my sister also. I don't remember doing this, and I think it has subconsciously made me infect another one of my family members. On the bright side, the plush is exactly as advertised. Very good quality, and it's shipped well and quickly. There's nothing wrong with it, and you should totally buy it for one of your family members. Five out of five stars. Please buy me. I mean this. The best gift I could ever give my husband. I bought this for my husband for Valentine's Day. It works great, built great, yada yada yada. But the thing about it is the chaotic joy it brings our household. We break it out at every occasion. To wake each other up, to provide hold music, to play a moving and slightly out of tune rendition of Taps when our beta fish passed away. Truly, its uses know no bounds. Sometimes we even bring it on road trips. To be clear, we are both horrible playing it. That makes it even more fun. Couldn't recommend this more. Everyone should own one. Especially since it's the Hatsune Miku version. Look at this. Perfection. I look forward to someone covering Magical Cure Love Shot with this. Oops, all Carlac. Not all Carlac, but a clear bias towards her character. Hardly any Gale or Will, and a ton of random Tavosies, which wasn't ideal. Sticker quality was mid. 
Perfect for Carlock fans. So much Carlock. Man, who knew that society would fall in love with a demonic, tall, muscly woman so fast? Literally, I don't know. And this snap doesn't work. I can't snap away these bills, but sure it does look good on my desk. This Shrek rocks. Bought this Shrek to adorn the top of a trophy for a special guy at work who did something very out of his way to help me. His name at work is Shrek, obviously. The Shrek figure is a collector level quality and has good detail, accurate coloring proportions, and comes with a nice stand that holds the feet in place to help prevent tipping over. Look at how powerful that is. What a beast. Nice decal. Your mom loves it. <laughs>